Welcome to Automated Big Brother. You are currently in a queue. Please hold. You are currently in queue position 69. Please record your pre-titles tease after the tone. Well. Hi. Bye, reality. Hey, welcome. The big one is little brother. Stop whistling. Uh, it's day 77 and the time is 7.33. So last night saw the return of Big Brother from his holidays in Margate and about time too. Bringing us a straw donkey and bringing the house mates news of this week's nominations. Joining us uh, uh, to discuss the results is journalist, presenter, author and Potsman Dolly. Paul Morley's with us, everyone. <laughs> Good to have him with us. He's like an oracle, that man. Oracle. Uh, I'm going to be showing you, and let me, let me assure you I've seen it, and it's unbelievable. The world exclusive of Spiral's new video, So Sexy. Yeah. Believe me, it is. Yeah. Kind of. Mm -hmm. But before all that, let's recap uh, on this week's nominations. Yesterday, Automated Big Brother revealed to the housemates the image and faces of public folk before suffering a technical malfunction and breaking down, leaving the housemates to wonder who, if anyone, would be joining her in the firing line. Later, Big Brother breezed back into town and casually announced the rest of the lineup. Uh, this was the moment it was revealed. <laughs> The housemates nominated for eviction this week yeah. are yeah. Imogen and Jenny oh. and Mikey. Oh, it's all of us. See, told you, Mike. And he's my Sorry. Susie. Oh. There we go. Oh. Do you mean I have a week oh. off? You have a week off, darling. Oh. <laughs> uh, but who? Nom two and why? All four nominees received three nominations each. Imazon, Imazon that's her new name, was nominated <laughs> by Jenny, uh, Pete, and Richard, who said the woman spends pretty well much her whole entire day looking at herself in mirrors. Oh. Jenny was nominated by Mikey, Susie, and Imazon, Imazon, who said she said I haven't brushed my teeth yet. Oh, and I wanted to be sick. I was like, oh. Six o'clock, apparently that was. Uh, funny reason to nominate someone, though, wasn't it? And then Mikey was nominated by Richard, Ashleen, and, no surprises, arch nemesis Susie, who said... He'll treat me like an idiot. Perhaps I am one, and I take umbrage over that. But you take umbrage over the fact you are an idiot, but you said you're an idiot. Uh, and lastly, Susie is up after being named uh, by Jenny, Mikey, and Glyn, who said... The conversations we have sometimes can be quite tedious and boring. Talking about horse riding and um, croquet. Uh, and he actually thought they were talking about croquet potatoes, but unfortunately they weren't. It was actually croquet the game. Uh, that, my friends, uh, was a bit of a roundup, and now it's time for Little Brothers Big News. Get out! Oh, how exciting. Oh, wow, check me out. I'm in the university. How exciting. I didn't see the thing. I just thought it was a thing. Uh, at 9.59 this morning, the Big Brother uh, house transformed into a university campus for this week's shopping task. Uh, the students had, had to pair up and they were given their degree subjects by Big Brother. Richard and Caesar were given languages and they could not have been happier with the language they were given to study. Let's take a look. No! Oh, no! You're going to make me do languages and you're going to make me have to learn Welsh. I can't believe that. I'll never learn Welsh. Oh, my God. Oh, Glenn's going to... Oh, he's going to want to hug me. <laughs> OK, I'm off. Can we play spin the bottle? How do you say that one? Gaw ni chwara. Gaw ni chwara. Spin the bottle. Oh, we can't afford black pudding this week. <laughs> I am stupid. Brindle. Can you tell me? <laughs> just never tell her who. Oh. Glenn and Ashleen were given communication studies. Pete and Jenny were given English literature, whilst Mikey and Imogen were given anatomy. 
Uh, I haven't kissed yet. Though. However, at 2.32 today, it looked like some of the housemates were moving nearer to getting diploma than others, including Imogen. Go figure, take a look. Olna. Radius. You know. Carpels. You got it. Metacarpels. Give me some skin. Let's go, babe. Very good. Can you read this? Right. I don't want to do it. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. No. <laughs> I like the fact that we've got sign language. I'm yeah, because, well chuffed. Yeah. So next, next person, next blind person I see, I can do my sign language with <laughs> <laughs> uh, Why are you laughing? <laughs> Both sign language is for deaf people. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the deaf people. I can do that holiday. Ever so sorry to deaf people, blind people, Welsh people, and everyone that's watching. And at 3.59 today, some of the housemates seem to be embracing all aspects of student life. Let's take a look. <laughs> It's comfortable. Oh, uh, that was a little bit of big news. So, the lines are open and you're all voting to evict either Imogen, Susie, Mikey or Jenny. But is there someone in the house you're determined to get out but you just can't reach? Are you the good people have written? Please read the nomination results or ruddy well cheesed off. With that in mind, today's cool BBLB can only be nominations, please, or ruddy well cheesed off. Here's how to get in touch. In the 80s, my next guest was a champion of a young bunch of impetuous, impetuous rather, loudmouth wannabes who became known as Frankie Goes to Hollywood. Well, this isn't Hollywood, it's Borehamwood. But what does he make of this young bunch of impetuous wannabes? It's Paul Morley, everyone! Yeah. Oh, it's, uh, good to have you on. First things first, Paul, what do you make of this week's nominations? I'm absolutely delighted with this week's nominations. All of them? Are, well, three quarters, okay. give or take Jenny. Uh, but uh, three quarters of them is exactly who I would want to be fighting out at this stage of proceedings before one of them gets spat out. Last bit of random cruelty, hopefully on Susie and indeed Mikey, before one of those gets spat out. Do so you think Mikey or Susie, they're, they're the two you really want to go uh, Well, with? I, uh, Susie to an extent, uh, until, of course, a, a wonderful performance in the diary room last night when finally she's put under stress and she begins to crack mm -hmm. and she reveals things by being cracked that I wanted to see all along because she's been so serene. It's wonderful to actually see her under pressure. And, and therefore, does that, make, does that endear it, it, her to it, you? Or no, do you... it doesn't endear her to me at all, but it makes me want to see more of her under pressure. OK, so you'd rather she's so thinking... So, at the moment, I'm, I'm favouring my key. To go? Yeah, absolutely. OK. Anyone else in there you'd like to have seen up, or is that pretty much... No, th this is perfect for me. Those three would have been perfect. Okay, I, could, I couldn't have chosen it better myself. So, less than three weeks to go, who's still doing it for you and who's, who's proven their worth to you over the last ten weeks? Well, they kind of all have to the extent that even the ones you hate, you kind of like watching and you like watching those moments when you think they're under stress. But, you know, for me, you know, uh, apart from the obvious one, who is like Brazil and we don't even talk about it anymore, because <laughs> it's just so obvious, we're looking for the one who might come second, you know yeah. what I mean? And uh, I absolutely adore Aisling because I think she's been under extraordinary pressure in there and uh, very underestimated. And I think there's been certain cultural biases against the performance well, that, I, that I wish to sort of rectify. Well, let's, let's concentrate on her then. Um, f first of all, what, what do you mean by the, the cultural uh, bias? Well, I'm surprised how much it's underestimated what she's done and what she's been through. I mean, she's the one housemate that's really had a classic piece of Big Brother cruelty issued against her. Some of the others haven't had anything like that. You know, Mikey can sell serenely through with mm. this kind of attitude he's got. When you know deep down he's really the Machiavellian one, he's really the one that's got dark, kind of, you know, impulsive secrets, whereas Ashley's put up with an awful lot uh, and, and is booed for being fake when, in a, in a funny sort of way, she's unbelievably honest. I mean, she's been through things that you cannot possibly fake a response to, that, that instant moment of live television when she's under that kind of pressure and feels so responsible for people's so lives. I'm fascinated as, why, as to how unpopular she is because, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, I don't last understand week on it. Friday, we, you know... Out of nowhere, yeah. we had this Ashley now. Absolutely, I don't, I don't believe it. And, I, and, of course, all that does intensify her paranoia. And to an extent, that's part of the whole thing. But what's fascinating about it is everyone complains about the fact she plays the game. Of course, that's, that's the beauty that's of what she <laughs> does. And, and because she's been under... I mean, she's not only had that act of cruelty issued by Big Brother, but she's had to deal the most with Nikki, mm. you know, within six inches of her. 
that kind of awful erratic behavior, you know, and having that to deal with, and she had to deal with spiral as well, and for better or worse, in the house, that's not going to be easy. She's had to sail through that, and I think she's performed heroically. OK, let's take a look at some of her struggles. We got rid of all the ones we didn't like. Oh, we bullies. <laughs> no, we're not. We got rid of all the ones no, we never liked. You know. She is opinionated, and I will bully more opinions out of her. She got off on the seat, she went, oh, look, my bum's hanging out. And I don't know why people don't like me in it. The housemates nominated for eviction are oh. Ashley. Ash. Oh, get out. No, come on, Danny. People upset me. I might start telling them about it. Me, 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 oh, me. Oh, shut me. your mouth. <laughs> Big Brother will ask you to evict four of your new housemates. Oh. You must make your decision oh. now. <laughs> because I couldn't sleep last night. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm Thanks, sorry. Ashley, mate. Michael, Jenny. Jonathan or Spiral will definitely be evicted. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm sorry, Jonathan. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the most nicest people I've ever spent so much time with. I think every other person in this house is worth so much more than I am. Oh, actually, if you haven't oh. realised that, then you don't know me. Oh, my love, as always and forever, Daddy. Oh, my God! <laughs> the most Machiavellian housemate is Ashley. Oh! Oh I'm just a bit upset because I'm the most deceitful person. I mean, if you think of a worthy winner for Big Brother, yeah. you always think of people that have either been on the journey or the, or the most yes. insane people, and she has been on the journey. She's been she? on a journey. Everybody's ganged up on her. I thought it was fascinating. You could tell the sensitive stage she's at where she preferred to be thought of as stupid and, and over-emotional than Machiavellian. Mm. You know, she's so kind of confused and and under pressure, and absolutely, I mean, we say that Glyn, and we've celebrated Glyn's gorgeous journey into having his brains fried up the Apocalypse Now river. <laughs> but Ashley <laughs> has also been on, on an extraordinary journey and has had to deal with the most... I mean, I, I, I wish somehow that some of the others could have had to put up with what she's had to put up with. And you to that extent, I'm, I'm surprised that she's not so, more celebrated. Have you any idea why she's so unpopular, though? Like... Well, they say that she fake. I mean, it's a girl thing, I guess. There's a lot of the, the fakery thing. They say she fakes it, they say she's not true. I don't understand that myself. Well, I don't either. I mean, I don't, I'm, sure, I'm sure it's not I mean, unpopular, uh, unpopular, but I mean, just in terms of you saw the people booing outside and it Yeah, just... I don't know. And also, she, she, she reacts to some of the situations she's put in actually with extraordinary grace. You know, there's some incredible power. Okay, behind so well, I mean, the last question was supposed to be who, who you're backing, but you're not going to bottle it all now and go, no, uh, Pete. I, I'm removing Brazil, okay. obviously, because he's kind of what he is and, and, and he'll lose based on the fact that suddenly, you know, Italy will come through. Oh, and, uh... oh fantastic. For now, thank you so much. Paul Morley, everyone. Thanks, Paul. <laughs> Wonderful. Nice to talk about one housemate for change, isn't it? Always talking about him and talking about him. Here she goes. I don't want anyone to lick curry off my body. <laughs> Apart from Paul Morley. <laughs> When you get out and see that interview, uh, stick around, Paul, because after the break, uh, we're going to be playing Spiral's new exclusive video, So Sexy, and you will have something to say about that, as will you. See you in four. <laughs> Welcome back. This is a dance my producer, Dilly, taught me. She, Dilly's the producer today. She went to go see Madonna last night, and that was the dance they were all doing. It's the new dance sweeping the nation. It's day 77. This is BBLB. Uh, the time is 7.50. So Big Brother's returns from his mashup in Margate. <laughs> and it's back to business as... Imagine Big Brother getting out of his head. Uh, back to business as usual. As mentioned in the news, it's back to school uh, for the housemates. And this is how the task came about. <laughs> Hey, I'm Paz. I'm task researcher for Big Brother 7. This morning we put a task in uh, where our housemates are going to university. The housemates are going to be learning anatomy, uh, English literature and drama, languages and communication. And by the end of it, they're going to get a diploma. So we've been here since 7 o'clock in the morning and we're just basically uh, stripping the house of all its stuff and turning it into a university campus, including student union, halls of residence and a lecture room. In the student union we've had to put a pool table and the pool table was just heavy, heavy. <laughs> we've also provided the housemates with an array of uh, Big Brother University clothing. 
Big Brother University scarves, white hoodies, black hoodies, moccasin shoes, and some kind of khaki trousers to get the whole like university vibe. Gotta make sure it looks amazing. And it is amazing, because it does look absolutely amazing. Them khaki trousers. Uh, next up, someone who I'm sure would have an A grade in communications, because he does everything fast. It's Spider, everyone! Yeah. I can't get it out of my head, Spiral. It's, it's, oh, it's killing me. Yesterday, we sent you off for a shoot for a, a video for your post-eviction single, So Sexy. How sexy was it? Very, very sexy, I have really? to say. Yeah, the girls are looking hot. The girls are amazing. It's oh my Jacqueline God. and uh, Jacqueline Mudge and Emma from our team. They've they got it wonderful. going on. You, like, you liked uh, a bit of the Bickers and the Mudgington? <laughs> they <laughs> yeah. were wonderful, weren't they? OK, we're going to have... This is unbelievable. We're going to have a look at how, the, how you got on. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the world premiere of So Sexy. Caressing, you're a blessing, yeah. Lovely angel from heaven. Have you ever been told? I love your sexy pose. Diamond, silver, or gold, one of a kind. Come closer, girl. You can be mine. I'll whisper in your ear. You're so fine. I'll nibble on your ear. You're so fine. Close your eyes. Let yourself go. Whoa. I'll turn you on. Hello. We can go all night long. Yes, here we go. To this song. Let's get together. You're so sexy. I make love. You're so sexy, I'd do everything to you, it's so true, you're so sexy. All the sexy girls on the floor, wiggle your asses a little bit more, let me hear ya, eh, uh, yeah. Everybody on the floor, clap your hands once more. And Jacqueline's uh, mothers, if you're watching, I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> when you sort of signed them off and just went, oh, you're away for the summer, dear. Bye. <laughs> Turn them into porn stars. Uh, where does Spiral go from here, apart from out all night with our runners? OK, um, I obviously want to keep the music going and stuff, you know, and um, definitely, like, you know. So. What's going to happen with that now, though? You're going to... Because the first single's out in Ireland, or...? Is, yeah, or the first single's out in Ireland on Friday, you know. So um, I'm going back tomorrow to do some promotion and stuff. Oh, my word, this is brilliant, Spoke. I just want to say as well, thanks for this, for, for looking at me and stuff and doing this video. And fair play to the girls as well. I'm wearing up now. Honestly. Don't. <laughs> The uh, girls are great sports and all, like, you know. They are great sports. Um, lastly, nominations were revealed last night. You were obviously hoping for Ashleen, but that didn't happen. So, out of the four, who, yeah. would, you, who would you pick for to come out of the house right now? Um, I'd like Susie to go. You think Susie? Why yeah. Susie? Yeah, she had enough with it, um, because she drinks too much tea and stuff, you know. <laughs> Good reason for eviction. <laughs> Overdose of caffeine. Yeah. Uh, Spot everyone. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> So last night, the big guy returned and finally informed the housemates that Jenny, Mikey, Susie, uh, and Imorian are facing a public vote. Which of the Fab Four is going to go on Friday? That, my dears, is up to you. Uh, Paul and Spiral are still with us. Uh, Paul, what do you think of the video? Horribly real, actually. It was it, it less of the rolling rack than I thought, the Keith Harrison Oval. I thought it might be a little bit of that. So. No, man, it was, so, it was know, a high-class well production value going man, on. You know, yeah. There you go. Uh, just time for this cool BBLB, which is, of course, nominations. Please, or Ruddy Well Cheesed Off. Wendy from Hearts is up first. Wendy, uh, please, or Ruddy Well Cheesed Off. Hello, Paul. You sexy thing. Well, this is, the, this is the first. Hello, Paul, you sexy no, thing. yesterday. Uh, <laughs> uh, what do you reckon, then, Wendy? Um, I'm pleased that Susie and Imogen are up. Yeah. But I am ruddy well ple cheesed off Good. that Mikey and Jenny are up because I think Ashleen should have been up. Because, Why? Why? Yeah. Because she uses her tears for things that don't go her way and she's very manipulated. Over to Paul. no, I think it's a phenomenal part of the the great act that that Ashleen is, and 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 she's very aware that as an entertainer, sometimes tears are good, you know. Uh, I, you know, Mikey to me now is he's reached his peak of of of, of opaque, inscrutable behaviour. Now we're going to get close to who he really is. Jenny, I'm sorry, you know what Jenny reminds me of? She reminds me of a young Hilda Ogden, and I think <laughs> that is the reason we should cherish her. So, 
She'll reveal that more over the next couple of weeks. Reminds Maybe end up coming soon. Avril Boswell from Bread. Um, Nicola's <laughs> next up in Nottingham. Hello, Nicola. Hi, Dermot. Please do a ruddy well cheesed off. Uh, ruddy well cheesed off. Why? That, to Ashleen and Richard are not up. Okay. And please, Susie's up. Right. And cheesed off for uh, Mikey's up. Okay. You why are you cheesed off? Mikey's up. Well, he don't really do anything to. Uh, upset anybody. Just right, okay. with the flow. He's, he's no, nice. No, no, no. One last call. Thanks, Nicola, for nothing. Okay, bye. Bye, Nicola. Take care. Uh, Lynn from Hearts is next up. Lynn. Hello. Please, ready well cheesed off. Sorry? Please, do ready well cheesed off. I'm pleased that Susie's gone. Right, why? Well, she's going. Why? Because she's very snobby. Right. And she's very greedy, hides the food. Doesn't leave a lot for anybody else. Lynn, thank you so much for your call. Nice to speak to you. Okay. Bye. That's Bye. it for today. Uh, make sure highlights tonight, 10 o'clock. Straight after that, go and see uh, Lovey Russell uh, for Big Brother's Big Mouth. Back same time tomorrow with Kim and Aggie. Have a good night. Take care. Good night. <laughs>